And this started when I, when I, about three years ago, and I've been coming to Roots, this is my fourth year. So it kind of started a little after Roots. And you know, when I started at Roots, Roots is this amazing organization with a bunch of artists and activists that they just kind of share work and look at each other's work and give each other feedback. It's really a, a it's like a, it's an organization that's figured out how to build a community in one week, really. You know, it's really amazing. I was not, I was really shy to call myself an artist. I wasn't really comfortable with the word, especially a visual artist. This past year, it's been a couple years since I've been doing this work and I applied as a visual artist. So I'm here and I'm showing it and it's, I've gotten some really great feedback. But I feel like if it wasn't for Roots, I would have never gotten to the place where I'm comfortable calling myself an artist and with it being okay um, to be an artist. You know, I grew up in a really old traditional family where you had to grow up and go to college and be a doctor or something, right? Um, anything aside from that, like music or whatever, if it makes you fat happy, it's great, but it's just a hobby. Don't ever think like that's gonna give you a, you know, it's a whole, it's a very old fashioned, old school kind of way of thinking. You can do something with it, it's like wonderful. So most of this stuff is, is found or given, but there, most of the stuff is found. And I also have this really beautiful, also alternate roots group of sisters um, and friends that we always leave each other little notes and little letters about life and about how our, our paths keep crossing and braiding and how we're always, we're, we're gonna see our children growing up in the same mountains, drinking out of the same fountains and playing in the same woods. And so, because we are let note writers and letter writers, we also make sure we have computers and emails, but we're, we want to keep that tradition of that. I can, I can, I have this continuous amount of, of paper letters to work with. And they're real, right? I'm really connected to them because they're either to me or, or it was to like the whole house, thanks for letting us crash. And like, I, they, they go into that memory box. Um, so it's really beautiful. It's also, it's also a part, part of, that community that keeps it going. Because I don't know if I could do it if it was just things that weren't meaningful. I mean, unmeaningful things to me, I, I'll just throw them out, right? Um, yeah. Roots, one little thing about Roots too, because of Roots I was able to, I was able to meet NALIC, which is the National Association of Latino Arts and Culture. And this year Roots is partnering up with them. And I'm a member of both organizations. And that, because of Roots, I met them. And because of them, because of NALAC, I was um, able to take the, the 2009 uh, Leadership Institute course, which helped me a lot to understand nonprofits and to understand um, artists, an, an artist working um, as an activist, etc., in the Latino community and the issues that we're dealing with and how to work around that or with that. And they also, I also, they also invited me to apply to go to their first Advocacy Leadership Institute, and they took me to the White House. I was inside the White House, um, went to a couple of um, meetings and conversations with people inside the White House. Uh, I met my, my congressman and his assistant. His assistant actually went to New Orleans and called my cell phone. Hi, we would really like to meet with your organization.